Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another hashtag challenge and this one is hosted by Amy at Crafty Cat and it's her hashtag 50 stack challenge 4 and I have a board up here that I have prompts tape two that I'm going to be doing. So today I'm going to be doing travel and garden. So I don't know if I'll get them both done in the same video, but um, we'll see. I had this plan mapped out um, what I was going to do uh, a couple weeks ago or so, but um, just haven't had time to do a video so I have this paper pad that is travel um, and this is a hot buy so I'm thinking I got this at Michael's oh gosh I don't even know how long ago but I don't think I've really taken anything out of it and then for garden <clears throat> I love this old world by Park Lane um, actually, I think I have one that already has quite a bit of papers taken out of it. And this was, uh, I picked this up recently, 60% off at Joann's. That was last month. So when I see it, like 60% off, I get it because it's gorgeous. All right, so let me, <clears throat> excuse me, let me take a sip of my tea, lemon, and honey. Mm. really cold this morning but the snow is melting all right so I think I'm gonna go with the travel first and I'm gonna try not to have a avalanche here I've got a lot of things stacked up for the travel in the garden I'm gonna use this um, printout by Amy it's one of her freebies so, um, I'm trying to think, I don't know if I'll be able to find the link where she did this. I'll see if I can, um, but she shares in her videos freebies. So just go over and subscribe to Amy at Crafty Cat and, um, that way, you know, you'll see when she gets, puts her freebies out. So I have this one. So this is really cool. So this works out perfect for the travel and the garden. Great thinking, Amy. Um, for the travel, I had, uh, I have this stamp set by, I think it's Crafter's Companion. Yeah. Uh, Sheena. I love this set. There's like a collection of them. Um, Four different ones I should try to see if these are on eBay at a discounted price because I love them they stamp out so nice and I love this woman here in the dress so what I did was I stamped her out oops getting all my things away here I stamped her out on my fabric paper and it's the sun's in my eyes so i'm going to struggle here for a little bit um this is just uh a lace that you get by the yard i've had it in my stash for a long time and i glued it to cardstock with scotch permanent glue and what i did was i stamped her on there in coffee color ink and then just cut her out so she looks like she's in her wedding dress so it's kind of where I was going so I don't know I still need to pick out paper so there's that so I have her and she's beautiful just stamped out um, kind of gets distorted a little bit on fabric but I still like it so there's that and I'll I'll put the, it's kind of a build a scene, but they're really cool stamp sets. All right, so there's that. And then 
from Amy's freebie, and this is just on photo paper. I printed everything on cardstock, and with the luggage, is it this one here? Yeah, this one here, I cut it out, and then I just made slits um, where the luggage would open up, and then just tucked in little bits and pieces from my little um, little scrap bin here. I've got a little lot of little pieces and whatnot. And I just tucked them in from the back side and then glued them. And they're like hanging out so that, you know, she she packed her stuff. But she's got too much stuff in there and it's kind of overflowing. But she might be going to get married. I don't know. So that's kind of where I was going with that. So, so there's that. And I just did that on white uh, cardstock. So, all right. So there's the rest of those. Okay, I don't think I need that. So let me go through this paper pad and see if I can find something. And I don't know if I want to make a page or a like a journal cover. This is a kind of that's really not the color I'm going for. kind of cool. This is cool. It's pretty thick paper too. This would make a nice travel journal, this whole set here. Okay, cut apart. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't want to take too long. <clears throat> That's cool. I know I have it see and this the sun is shining in, but it'll it'll move here in a little bit. Uh, more cut aparts. This is nice, but hmm. I kind of need a, something as a background and just layer them on top is what I was thinking. I didn't want to spend a lot of time. That's cool. Yeah. It's really pretty. Um, okay, looks like it gives you two of each. I like that one. Oh, this has got an airplane. Hmm. Well, um, let me just see how tall, if the, this could be a tall skinny. Mm, oops. <clears throat> Nine would go to there. That's just too much. Nine. Nine there. Hmm. Don't know. Um. Let me find my other die set here. is the one I use all the time. This could be a page. I did that. I want that, kind of want the airplane in there. And then her. Hmm. I'm going to have to cover her dress up a little bit. And then I need something there. Um... I did bring out some travel. Well, I got a couple travel things. This one has airplane, which I already have. 
Oh, suitcase. Okay, I could probably stamp something here. Bone dry wash. It's got a cool, um, where's the stamp to it? I don't understand that. Hmm. Stamp and cut. I should have a stamp for that and then cut it out. I know I got another travel one, but um, um, I'm kind of thinking maybe I'm going to go with this one here. I don't want to spend a lot of time. Um, yeah. All right. Let me pull this off. I like this too. I don't want to ruin that. I can use that. All right. Let me pull this off. I have a borrowed um, chair today because my chair was too noisy yesterday. It drove me bananas. So, and I have quite a few videos to do to catch up on everything. I have quite a few things started and kind of to the side on the challenges. So, um, let me just kind of rough cut that. Okay. go right to the top so let's see let me cut seven and a quarter by five and a quarter okay seven and a quarter this way okay I'm not cutting that this off I kind of wanted to save that that way by five and a quarter and luckily my um, die cut uh, big shot machine is on the floor next to me because I knew I was probably going to need it. So, all right, let me cut this out. Okay. Let me line this up first. really want that airplane in there and then these lines yeah so I'm trying to go up as high as I can and this just could be a page for something it's good size kind of big. I'm not going to be able to angle it like I want to, but oh, did I bring a thing? Yep. Slide this back in here. It has several different sizes. I've showed this before. That's usually my go to. Um, it's, um, let's see how big it is. It's about four and three quarter by a little over six and three quarter. So it's a good size. All right, so there's that. There's my page. And she can go there like so. And then my little suitcases, that's going to be bulky. Ooh. Um, I do have some pop-ups. Let me see. Where did I put those? pop-up dots that um, Carol, my friend Carol at Free Spirit Arts, she sent me these. 
Um, I've never used them before, but uh, maybe today's the day. Oh, they're pretty thick. Okay. Double sided. Okay. Well, just trying to think. Then I need something here. All right. Do I want her in front of the suitcase? She's like looking down. Mm. I think I'm going to put her on first. I'm so sorry. Just not sleeping good. All right, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna just glue her down. Um, otherwise, I'll be here all day. Okay. And this is um, cardstock on the back, so I'm just gonna use my um, art glitter. That mint tape is perfect size for that to hold it. Um, okay. This could even make a nice little journal topper too, as well. So, um, okay, <coughs> excuse me. It's going to be one of those days. All right, um, yeah, it's kind of bulky in the back here. I tried to cut off as much as I could. Um, all right, so I'm just going to have to fill in the difference there. These are pretty thick. Never used these before. Whoops. I'm just wondering if I should put extra tape. Or I mean extra glue. <clears throat> Probably should have tested that first. Keep that on there. Hmm. Don't know if I'm gonna like that on there. They're pretty thick. I need like thin ones. Um Yeah, I'm going to need one right there for sure. One right here, but I think I want to put extra glue. I'm going to use this glue. This is the three in one. Definitely need one there. really pops that up too far. Kind of. Um, let me try to cut some of this off. Does that go okay? I'm just gonna try to trim some of this off. 
Oh, I'm going to ruin these scissors. Yep, because this is really bulky stuff. Some of this uh, is from that wedding dress that I got from Dale, not too shabby chic. She sent me pieces of it. This right here. Yeah, it's glued on there pretty good. I just don't want to trash the whole thing. Oh, okay, there's beads in there, that's why. From that wedding dress. I see. Okay, uh, making a mess. All right, let's see right here. There's something here. Okay, there's a little piece of, um, that's a little piece of um, doily with tatting on it. So I'm going to cut that. Okay, I think I'm getting most of the bulk. And then this is just a ribbon glued to lace. I kind of made like a little, I don't know, looks like a garter or something. All right, I think I'm going to be good with that. I'm not going to cut anymore. I'll have it ruined. Okay, I'm just going to glue it down. Yeah. Okay, um, this is all paper, some fabric. I'm going to go with this glue, the art glitter. Just hope for the best. It's brown on the back because I just dressed the openings where I cut it so there wouldn't be any white showing. Right. Hopefully I got plenty of glue here. Put it down there. Right here. I love that. Okay, that'll work. Um, of course, I didn't bring anything. just going to put that on there for now move that aside and then I need something for here maybe stamp it um, I've got, I could do like a little label um, something what is it X I can't even read that uh, travel, I've got travel, hmm, uh, let me look,
got quite a few travel stamps. Um, this one I think is too big. Hmm. I could have done the map beforehand, but I like that one. This one here. Um, I know one of these. I don't know if it's this one or maybe it's this one I got from Angela's uh, live sale, the Traveling Crafter. It's got luggage. I'm kind of thinking I want luggage. And <clears throat> just get rid of the plastic. I like this luggage. Um, okay. Let's just see if we're sticking here. I can always squirt some glue under there. I like that. All right, so luggage. Do wonder if I just do a tag. What's this one? No, it's got an airline ticket. Maybe I just do the airline ticket. And then I have this one here. It has Paris on it. Um, oh, this is Seven Gypsies. This is a cool one, too. Um, hmm, this has got the airline ticket. Let me just pull this out and see. Okay, definitely I can use that smaller stamp. I just don't want to spend a lot of time. <clears throat> there. I could stamp that. I wish I had stamped that before I put her on. Um, I can cover her up. Yeah, I wish I'd have stamped this across there first. I could just do just part of it there. I'll just try to cover her up. Um, I could stamp her out again and then cut her out, but that would just take too much time. Um, um, I'm just gonna put some sticky notes on her. That. And then on my plane, like that. And then I'll just stamp it. I'm going to have to tape it. Yeah. Let's see what I get. Okay, I'm going to stamp this. Okay, is that, that's rubber, all right. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to keep sipping my tea here. this on here. And I'm going to use my stays on so I know I'll get a good coverage with that. There we go. Here. 
bottom top row, or does that go over to that? Over to there. I can add more if I don't like it. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I've got a little bit of a bump, so um, let me just add more ink. I might have to stand up and uh, give it more pressure because it's uneven. Oh, I love that. Okay. And stand up. Oh yeah, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit further. So I put my finger in there. Perfect. Love it. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Sweating bullets now. All right, that's just the stays on jet black. But I do need to clean this right away. Just being real aggressive. Okay, just a wipe. Then I have a microfiber cloth that I get at the dollar store. I just give it a good clean because those wipes put uh, lint on your stamps. this off and this is just a sticky grid uh, paper I've shared that and this is just the release paper I put on here to protect it for long life that's wet so I'm gonna switch this around to dry oops sorry <clears throat> all right that worked out well I don't think I've used that stamp either Okay, so let's see what we get here. A little bit of everything. I like it. Okay, so there's my travel page, and I'm probably going to have to stick some 3-in-1 up underneath there. Uh, let me see if I can put a little dab right now, just to make sure. Out well, I love that. Okay, so there is my travel prompt. Uh, she's in her pretty dress. She's got her bags packed, and everything is bulging out. So they're going to charge her extra. There's her airline ticket and her plane. <clears throat> okay, so there's that. Um, my. garden prompt uh, I kind of wanted to use these pieces from my other um, from here I had some leftover pieces um, where I cut these out and then I had these green 
So I kind of want to use those. And then this little guy here um, from that um, um, fabric. So, um, yeah, it'd be great if I could use those up. I kind of want to do like I did my this uh, tea time. I kind of want to do something like this. So um, let's see what I have here. Uh, Amy's stuff. I'm gonna do that. Oh, here it is. Okay. She's got um, garden and the luggage. This one here. I kind of want to use that one. I did glue it to um, 80 pound. It's like textured um, cardstock. The solid core. So I think I'm going to use that. And um, I want to use these postage stamps. These are unbranded. I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, buy unbranded. Um, I got these and with a bundle at, um, on Amazon years ago. So. so I'm thinking this here. I kind of have it mapped out what I want to use. Um, I want a calendar, a butterfly here. Um, I've got a watering can here. Um, a bee, another bee. Not a couple bee dies, but. Yeah, so I'll use one of these bees. And then Amy's image, which is this one here, and the green triangles. Okay, calendar. Okay, I've got this. Um, it's kind of like a planner uh, by Park Lane. It's got small little calendars, so I thought I could do that and put the date. The first day of spring this year is... Tuesday, March 19th. So that's what I was thinking. All right, let's see if I can make this happen. Oh, I need to pick out paper. I'm going to die cut that out in that size and just kind of build around that. All right, paper. Let's see. It's a lot. something that goes with Amy's image and that piece there. So, sorry my eye itches. <clears throat> I love this. If you find this old girl, it's, it's amazing. All right, that's too dark. Oh, I love that. Okay, too much green. Nope. It's uh, pretty. Uh, okay, that's an option. Nope. Nope. Too busy. That's pretty. Nope. 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 That's pretty. Nope. Well, that's got green in it. No, it gets lost. That's pretty. Too much green. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. Kind of like that. Okay, that's an option. Hmm. That's pretty. I don't like the contrast there. All right. Too 
busy. Oh, well, that's pretty. Mm. I like the pink in the flower there. Oops. That's nice. Wow. Okay. Uh, too dark. I like this one. Used it a lot. Nah. Alright. I think I like this one. Alright. What is this one? Yeah. Yeah. Too busy. Okay, we're going with the pink. Or, I don't know what color it is. I'm just going with it. <clears throat> Alright, so now I gotta figure out a size. Um, what size did I do? This one. I think I just did. Um, I think I just did the 6x9. Yeah, I had to cut it down a little bit. Six by nine. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave that out for reference. Alright, I think I'm going to cut this down because <clears throat> it could be a, a cover. 6 by 9 So let me get rid of this travel stuff. Okay. This one might take longer. Alright, so six by nine, so I'm gonna leave it there and then cut it nine this way. And then I'll just fold it in half. Okay. That'll work. I guess let me cut that out and start arranging. Okay, and some tape. see here. I know it's not going to fit perfect, but I might be able to get a little bit of everything. You'll still see a border, I think, maybe on that side. Um, yep. It'll be okay. Oh, I lost my cutting plate. as far as the color matching the photo. Okay, so 
I just want to figure out where I want that. That's pretty on there. All right, so now I got to figure out what color to do the rest. Um, do I want them brown or cream? Okay, this is the solid core paper. This is um, 80 pound, it's by Park Lane, and it was 50% off. So I'm just trying to think of a color, almost thinking this creamy color here. That olive color is pretty. Hopefully you can see. Um, yeah, I think I want to brighten it up a little bit. Um, I've used quite a bit out of here too. I might get another one. That one's kind of cool. Uh, it's more of an olive. Hmm. It's pretty. I think I like this color here. It's kind of like a I don't know. I think I'm going to go with this one here. And it's got texture. It's smooth on one side, texture on the other. So let me go with that. So I'm trying to think how many I need. Okay, so what did I have here? I've already got the Amy's image, so I need one, two, three, four of these. Four of these. Okay, so I need four of these. So let me cut that. A lot of up and down today. All right, so I need It's two and a half by three. What can I get away with? Let me just go two and a half by three. So I'll cut three. And then I need four, two and a half. One. Okay, scrap. All right, there's my pieces. Everything might crash to the ground here. All right, I'm going to got to die cut these out. And I'm thinking I can do two at a time here. And I want the textured side up. So I'll do that. Oh yeah, I like that. Now to get these apart. Okay, there's two. Two more textured side up. You can always put at an angle. It just makes everything go smoother for cutting, pressure, and um, 
keeping your plate to last longer. for pieces. Okay, I'm just trying to lay it out here so that maybe in the center. Two. Like that. Um, Alright, let me see my watering can. Got this guy here. Um, I was hoping to get a piece of this on there like that, like that. That would work. And then I've got a watering can here. pieces I cut out. Okay, my watering can is going to have to go this way, like so. Um, what else did I have? Oh, a bee, watering can, butterfly. Oh, my calendar. So I think I'm going to switch these like this. I think I'm going to put my calendar up there and my watering can down here. And my bee can go here. So, let's see. I think I can do one of these bees. I do have cute little bee die cuts. Um, wow, well, I'm at 53 minutes, okay. Um, let me stamp my calendar, because I know that's going there. Okay. Sweatshirt. There we go. Whew. Okay. All right, so I want this calendar here. I think I kind of want this date thing at the top, too. If I can fit them both, so I can write the date in. I don't know if I'll be able to write it. Okay. Just like that. Okay, clear. Let's just see if I'm lined up here. I think I am. I'm just going to go for it. Um, I use my stays on. It's good for lettering. Boy, that sun's brutal, but it's, it's warm. right there. Okay, let me keep hitting it until I get a, a good coverage. I think this is the first time I've used this. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, I don't think I'm stamping anything else. Ok, 
Okay. It's a cute little stamp set. It's for like planners. All right, peel that off. Oops, got my, oh, I think I wanted to do that too. Okay, um, I'm gonna write the date. I've got like a Sharpie, what I say? Four, or no, <laughs> three. 19, 20, 24. It's kind of messily, but it's okay. And uh, I'll put that on there, and I think I'm going to do a die cut for the, the B. So there's that. This is going to go on there. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. I think I want to glue this on. I'm going to cut it. Right here. Maybe cut a little bit more, maybe. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll glue that on. That'll be fun. Okay, tweezers. Uh, I love this contrast colors. It's gonna go like that. Right, looks good. And then this is. I did put. Um, coffee filter on the back of this so I could cut it out, but I think I'm going to use the three-in-one just to be safe. Okay. Mm. See how I want this placement. Crows are after my bird seed. Terrible. Just want to make sure this is going to stick. And uh, it's kind of bulky, but I like it. I want to use it up. Okay. Oops. Cute. I like that. Okay, there's another piece there. Okay, I need a watering can. What am I going to cut that out of? Um, let me do my B first. I think I'm going to stamp this background on here and then add one of my little bees. Uh, hang on. Bees, butterflies. Where are my bees? I switched my 
binders around. I put my bees and my birds together because I had too many butterflies. Okay, um, we need a cute bee. Okay, I love this little bee right here. Okay, I'm going to do that. Alright, let me stamp that. I think I'm just going to use the black. Alright, I'm going to be over again, but it's okay. I don't think I have too many people watch and <laughs> nobody ever comments, so I'm just doing my thing. Right, I'm going to do this like this. And I need the clear. And then I'll use my stays on. Love it. goes with this and I do wonder if I got where's the queen bee I'm missing that stamp yeah this was a garage sale item and the queen bee stamp was missing it's sad all right um oh I want to cut out my, oh, and I still need a watering can. Okay. That's going there. This is going here. Uh, this is the cutest little bee ever. All right, so I just need a scrap piece of paper to cut that out of. And. Let's see what we got here. We usually have decorative um yeah, kind of want something all right, I need something decorative. B would look good out of that right there. Let me try it. A lot of noise today. I'm trying to hustle. This has a lot of detail. I'm just going to poke that stuff out first. It's easier. Mm. 
There we go. Something there. Something there. A couple more pieces. It's a cute little bee. And it's just the right size too. All right, let's see if I got it all. I do have a piece of paper in there, copy paper for makes life easy. Okay. Oh, I got a uh, a die cut honeycomb too, but I like the contrast of the stamping and the die cut on there. So, where'd you go, little fella? I think I got everything out. Yeah, I like that. All right, so I see flying up that way. All right. Uh -oh. Just gonna dab it because this is very tiny and I'll overdo it. I'll have glue oozing everywhere. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's that, and then it has texture too. That paper has texture. It's flowers with texture, but you can use it for anything. All right, so I need something watering can, and I kind of want to bring the teal out of that. So let's see what I have. I do like that. Let's see if I have a smaller. Usually have a. That one's. This one's a little bit. Maybe I'll go with this one here. I forgot to put my phone on silent. Sorry. Okay, we are on silent now. Okay, I like that, but I like the polka dots too. I think I'm just going to go with that. But I want it to be thicker than this paper here for depth, so uh, I need to glue it to some scrap piece of paper. Use up your scraps. Okay, I got a lot of white scraps that I use them for everything. Okay, so I'm going to glue this to the back and then I can cut it out.
normally I would want this to dry before I die cut it out, but today is a special day. Okay, there's that. Oops, I got gluey. All right, one more die cut. I'll just trim this so I know where my uh, um, guidelines are. I think I'm good on the ends. I think I was tight top bottom. Oops. There we go. All right, let me cut that out. Okay. All right, sorry. Just gonna cut this out. This is just thin uh, scrap of paper, and I just wanted some. Um, dimension to it, so let me just cut that out real quick. Sorry if the sun was in the way and you couldn't see anything. This has a little slot right here. I could put a um, a um, let me pull it out. I could probably tuck something in there. They might have an example on the front of the thing here. No, they don't. There's like a slit right there. I don't know what that's about. It's probably just decoration. should have put a piece of copy paper in there first. It would pull out a little bit easier, but that's cute. Um, okay, I don't know why that slip is there, but it's there. I like it. Okay. That don't go there. That goes there. Okay, set the odd man out, but I like it. Got some color. Alright, so now I just need to glue everything on. Um, I think I'll go with the Amy's uh, beautiful image there first and then just kind of work around. So these, oh, let me glue this on. I hear the, uh, we have robins here now. I hear them out there. Spring is just around the corner. This is cute. This is a cute little set. I don't have that oriented the way I need it, always. Okay, so there's that. All right, let me get this center here. So trying to figure out where to put this. We are nine, three. So right there is good, right there. There. All right, I'm just going to glue it. Just 
just putting dots where the little notches are. This helps me, otherwise I overdo it on the glue. Always. Okay. Now, I kind of want that like right there. Somewhat center. Oops. Nope. There's no moving it once it's down. Okay. So I want a calendar here of when spring starts and then the butterflies. The bees. And you need the watering can to water. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and just put down. I'm concentrating. I'm glad to be getting this done. It's been on my mind for over a week now, so of kind of what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to put that right there. Okay. Get this puppy on there. Oops. Boy, that sun. I might need to move my poster board over a little bit. I'm excited to have both those prompts done. <laughs> Because when I've seen Amy's freebie, I'm like, oh, perfect. Smart girl. Okay. Kind of got close to the top on that one, but that's okay. This thing is so heavy, but it helps. All right, let me see if I can move my poster board without knocking everything down. Oops. Oops. Okay, that helps a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put this one down. So this could be a cover, a page, not sure yet. a little crooked. Cute. Really cute. I think I used everything today. Fabric. Stamps. Die cuts. Paper.
So if you look back on Amy's, um, on her challenges when she did her garden and travel, I'm pretty sure that's when she had that. So it would make sense. I like it. There's flowers in the watering can. Kind of wanted to bring out the teal and the, the barrel. So I don't know. I like it. All right, let me clean this up before I say goodbye. There's my little doohickey. Oh, there it is. Okay, good to go. So I've got my travel page and my garden page. Uh, this was number 13 and 14 in the 50 stack challenge four and that's hosted by Amy over at Crafty Cat and you know I will link everything in the description. All right enjoy your Tuesday. Bye!